All right, everybody, tomorrow's the big day. For those of you who don't know, I am doing the Charlotte Half Marathon tomorrow. Um, so before we get into today's video, please like the video, wish me luck. I've been training for like six to eight months for this, pretty hard, been really working towards this goal for a long time. So please like the video, wish me luck in the comments below. But let's get into what we've got for today. Latitude 64, I told them I lost half my bag and that I need help. And they sent me a nice box of discs, a lot of replacement drivers. And yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys what all they sent me. I got some like cool limited edition stuff. Um, some like spe a lot of special plastics, some Project Grip stuff. So I'm really excited to share this with you guys. We've got the 10 year anniversary premium dagger. We've got the Flexi Frost Fuse. We've got the Opto Moonshine River, the Opto Moonshine Bolt. My gold line bolt is pretty much unthrowable. It's un that understable at this point. And I actually got three graces. You guys have been telling me that I have to try the grace. So I've got two Project Grip Graces. I believe they're both 170. And then I've got a pretty sweet Royal Grace as well, the factory second plastic. Uh, let's give everything a throw and see how everything's flying today. So let's give everything a throw. Um, a lot of the stuff is hopefully going to go straight into the bag. I've been wanting either like a super flippy fuse or a super stable fuse. And I get the feeling because of how flexible this is, it's gonna be a super flippy fuse. And then hopefully at least one or two of these drivers is gonna go right into the bag. But then hopefully we've got a stable bolt, a stable river. Hopefully the glow plastic comes through with a little bit of added stability. I've already thrown this dagger a few times. It's like shockingly overstable for a dagger. That's a dagger that flies like a harp. All right, let's check out the frost fuse. I think this guy's going to be really flippy. Look, how, look at that thing. Wow. That is a really fun fuse. Now we've got Opto Moonshine River. River's been one of my favorite discs since really learning the trilogy discs. Let's see if this guy's a bit more stable. Whoa, that thing absolutely goes. That is so far. I think I can hit probably like 375 with that thing. That thing is an absolute beauty. We've got a glow bolt. I got this to replace my gold line bolt that is basically unthrowably understable now. So let's see how the Opto Moonshine bolt compares. Oh, that is awesome. That thing goes. Wow, okay. I can definitely push that guy at least close to 400. Got a factory second, Royal Grace. Nice and stable. I think I'm really going to like forehanding that one. It feels really awesome in the hand. Then I've got a 170 Project Grip Grace. The Project Grip Graces are a little pop top. So that's definitely something that excites me about these. Let's really try and rip on these ones. That is absolutely smacked. Wow. Those things go really far. Pretty stable, surprisingly stable from Project Grip. These poppy toppy guys are gonna be able to go really far. Ooh, please hit the trees. Okay, good, we landed on the bridge. And a lot of you guys have been wanting me to try the grace. So I got one in the Royal Plastic and I got two of the Project Grips. So we have three graces. I definitely wanna give the graces a forehand and see how that stability and distance potential really carries for me on the forehand line. I feel like that's where I can really maximize on my distance drivers on the forehand side of the game. So let's grab everything and then we'll forehand the graces. And we'll probably just close out today's video. Keep it simple. I wanted to uh, shout out Latitude, obviously, for hooking me up with all the discs for today's video. And if you want to get any of the discs you see in today's video, we probably have all of them over at Disc Golf Deals USA. And you can save money if you use my storefront. The link is in the description below. So click the link, get yourself something nice. You can save money on anything over at the site. All right, I'm super curious to see how these fly on the forehand. Let's do the Royal first and then the Project Grips. Oh, wow. Okay, the Grace goes really far. That was a cold. 420 at least 
project grip. Dude, these things go and they are surprisingly stable. Wow. I'm actually worried about putting them all the way out the back into the woods, which has never been a concern for me before. Project grip. Oh, stability kick in. All right, I launched that last one into the woods. Hopefully we get it back. But anyway, guys, it's getting dark. Sunlight's pretty much gone. Probably looks a lot better on the camera, I'm hoping, than it looks in real life. But it's getting pretty dark out here. I want to give you guys a little bit of an update. Shout out Latitude 64. And a lot of you guys wanted to see me try out the Grace. I think those Graces are really nice. I think the Project Grip Plastic, it's got a really nice feel to it. I'm really curious because of how soft it is. I'm wondering how the wear and tear is over time. Um, both of those are pretty stable at the moment. So I'm hoping once they beat in a little bit, they will just go extremely far, kind of the flight characteristics of the bolt, but then maintain that nice fade at the end. So anyway, let me know. You guys have been throwing the project grip for a while. How do they beat in? Do they wear in over time or do they stay pretty consistent? All right, guys, so I filmed this video last night. I didn't quite get it up last night because I just want to go to bed early, make sure I was fully ready for the race. The uh, half marathon I did today, I did it in two hours, 23 minutes and four seconds. It was absolutely brutal for me. I'm a terrible runner. Um, I, in the course of training for this thing, I lost right around somewhere between 20 and 25 pounds. Um, a lot of people have commented they noticed I lost weight. It's because I've been monitoring my diet and weighing all my foods on a scale, tracking my nutrition, and training for this half marathon. I learned a lot along the way. There's a lot of good life lessons I learned from, you know, this was really difficult for me. And I feel like doing really difficult things is just good for your overall mental well-being. And it's going to make you a more resilient person. And even with things like disc golf, when things happen that don't go your way, you're going to be more resilient to those types of things as well. And I feel like the process of doing this half marathon, I grew a lot as a person. Um, I got a lot healthier. I lost a bunch of weight. And yeah, I probably plan on continuing running. I probably won't do a marathon or anything like that, but I definitely plan on continuing to do some running training, even just once or twice a week, um, just to keep up with it. But yeah, this was my time. Two hours, 23. I'm sure some of you guys that follow me on Instagram are probably curious how it went. I did a 10.55 per minute mile pace. It was a really, really hilly route. It was so hilly. It was absolutely brutal. Um, the first five miles was I, was, I was coming in hot. I did less than 10 minute miles through the first five miles. And yeah, the energy was really good. I got my nice little certificate. I got a cool medal. I'm going to make myself a nice little display. Um, yeah, to show off that. So I have something to hang up in the background on one of these empty walls here. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. I really appreciate all you guys who support my channel day in and day out. I'm uploading a ton of videos. I'm working hard to get you guys the best quality content I can produce for you. And yeah, go get yourself something nice over at Disc Golf Deals USA. You can use the link in the description below to get anything you want, and you'll save money on it. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video, and take care.